Gil, 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 I'm about to do this little live real quick. From Peeps and Hells. Hope I can set this up. So y'all can see it, I'm all live. So we send out. Oh, shoot. Fair bad. You know it. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, I'm live. Tell the people to come on in the room. Um, all right. All right, sis. You need to get over here so you can mix your stuff. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. I'm going to do Rick 2 real quick. And they're going to be Geo style. I wonder why. Um. I wonder if I should turn my situation, because I'm not getting my whole view here. I'm not getting the whole view of my canvas here. It's like half the picture. I think I want the whole frame, but I'm not sure how to get it. Anyway, got to get my favorite gold, just resin. Already mixed this deliciousness up. I need a lot of it, so yeah, I need a lot, so I'm gonna put that in the cup. See, it seems like I should be able to turn this camera sideways and pick up everything, but I don't understand why I can't. I don't know. I don't know how people be getting that little slim shot. Yeah, I don't want the slim shot. I want a full shot. Everybody can see what I'm doing. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. I'm not going to hope a lot of people come on. It was last minute. But I can see what we up to. Sister. Maybe somebody will want one of these charger plates. Uh. I'm gonna do two. You tripping? Can we cancel my line? No, I'm still loud. I just can't see. Hey, Marie. What's up, baby girl? What you up to? Hope all going well with you today. I'm about to do these little, like, charges, but you'll see how it turns out. It's going to be a really nice bowl when I finish with it. But in order to get started, i got to pour it down first. So, while my sister is doing that, I think I'm going to start with one of my homies. And she like red, black, and gold. So, I'm going to start with a little bit of red. Uh, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to do a dirty pour of it. I'm just going to. Middle, maybe bigger, maybe bigger, and then um maybe some sparkly, sparkly. Center of that, maybe, and some. Love this gold. I'm gonna put this gold on the outside. Little bit on the inside. Ooh, this is good. Okay. I know I'm mixing some black. Some black in there. Maybe a little bit of white to break it all up. I know I got some white down here. Okay, since you need to do yours, because you don't have to put so much time to mix this up. Moi? Yeah, you. Bridget. Bridget, nothing. Okay. So, this show sheet over here. Here go your some teal. Here go some... What's that called? Turquoise. Turquoise, teal. And some glittery, clear with turquoise and teal in it. 
in, in, in some little bit of gold too, because we gotta make it to match this. Remember when I did this, y'all? We're gonna make a bowl to match this too. So, just pour a little bit in there. Pour a little more white in there. Not too much right now. Maybe I'll go on the outside with some. When you pour it, if you want to squeeze your cup, that'll give you better control because you're making a point out of it. You know what I'm saying? And let it spread out wide. It's okay. We want to go wide because it's going to make a bowl out of it. So don't worry about that part. I think I use everything in them cups. Make it wide as you want to. Boom. It's a regular gold, too, over here. So everybody doing okay? I hope everyone is. I got so much I want to show y'all tonight, but I don't know. I'm gonna break it up into different videos. It's gonna be worth it. We're gonna do some mold making. We're gonna do some coaster making. It's gonna be awesome night for our work. So make sure after we sign out of this video, you stay tuned for the next video and the next video. And I left you a little bit of gold in case you're interested. Interested. But keep in mind, don't forget to put some white in there. Here you go to white. Because you got to make a match this. Look how this looking. And I guess you want to straighten out the sheet so that it captures... And when you blow dry it, it's going to, when you put the heat gun to it, it's going to fan out some more, so. Y'all can't see my, my sister part. She throwing down over there, though. Trust me, I tell you. How this one looking? It's cute. She cute. She cute? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of fussing. It's very real. It's real? Mm -hmm. I'm going to just add some more red in here. So, yeah, this is for my little homie that um I found on YouTube. She does a lot of sublimation work with her cricket and what have you and therefores. And I'm really interested in learning it because I do plan to get a cricket one day. But I enjoy watching her videos because she's very knowledgeable. She knows that cricket. So I'm impressed. And what else I'm impressed about is that she always says it's enough money out here for everybody. And she promotes other artists. She ha she does that a lot. So I I liked it. I ordered a box from her. She was doing some um mystery boxes. So I ordered a box from her. I finally got it today all the way from Columbus, Mississippi. So I got the box and I'm going to open it up and show you guys what I got. So we're going to do these first. So anyway, I'm doing one of these as a gift for her because I appreciate what she does with so many other people. And she really teaches us a lot. And I just want to show her my appreciation. <clears throat> By giving her something in the form of my art. And I don't have very much of this black left. But I think I want to. Just go in this area. I just want to get rid of it. I'm using my brand new order of Stone Cold countertop. Um, hey, Chisi. Good to see y'all. 
Thanks for stopping in. This is Stone Cold. So it's a part A and a part B epoxy. It's my favorite epoxy. So I just got my brand new order of that today. So now I'm about to start jamming around here, y'all. I probably should have left that little black out, but it's still cool. I just wanted to use um, the last of the resin. I don't want it to, to go unused. What you doing over there, girl? Well, now that you've asked, well, let me just pan over this here. Go right ahead. Go ahead. Bit. Give a little pan. Yeah. Yeah, Check do that. Out. Check it out, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Sissy, are we getting it in? Press one for beauty, press two for a big old blob. <laughs> I think it looks good, sis. It complements this and everything in every way. So, um, still a little gold in here. I'm going to take that gold and incorporate it over here on this side. I think you're looking good. Okay, so what you need to do at this point is pull the plastic and straighten yours out so that it has room to move because the plastic we just got the plastic from the dollar store okay and i wish i had some got some white over there um i'm not sure i just want to put this down because i don't want to waste it no that's fine but i'm a little worried about putting it girl you can pour it on out because what's gonna happen is one we're gonna wait a little while for these to to drape out and what I mean by that is this epoxy, it, it takes a little while to um, start to cure because it's a 24-hour epoxy. This is not the kind I be, that you guys are used to me using. As of lately, I was using the, um, um, what do you call it? It was called a quick coat, okay? And I'm just going to turn this upside down and try to drain out some of the epoxy that's in there. Y'all want to use the plastic gloves, too. I got some. I'm just too lazy to get them and get them. But it's not that bad for me today. I just got to, you know, you stay clean with it. So, thanks, everybody, for coming in and checking me out. Hey, 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 my favorite paparazzi jeweler in the house. What's up, Kelly Henry? Thank you for stopping in. Love you guys, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Big thumbs up to y'all. All right, so I'm going to add a little bit of white to this. Just for the fact that, like I said, I'm trying to get it out of my cup. In fact, I got some more clear. I got a lot of clear over here too, sis. If you need it for yours. Sis, gonna, she gonna pan y'all back over. I know y'all wanna see what she over there doing. I know y'all wanna see. So it's just clear inside of here. <clears throat> but anyway, this epoxy, so tomorrow night about the same time, this is when we'll come back and check on this. Okay, so I just wanna I think I put a little extra paint in it. This is like a pearlescent white. And then I have some holographic uh, mica powders in here as well. Okay. So, anyway, um, just adding it to it because I want this piece to, it's, I want it to be big. I want it to be, um, and I want to use all my resin. I don't want it. I don't want any resin left over. I want to use it all. Um, so anyway, this time tomorrow night, we're going to come back and check on it. But but the thing about it is, if y'all, I don't know who got to go to work. I don't understand. But, I mean, I don't know all that. But all I do know is, four hours from now, what, we, what me and my sister going to do, well, probably me, because she got to go to work too. Um, I'm going to come back in here. And I'm going to, I might be overdoing it. Sometimes you can overwork a project. What y'all think? I think I'm overdoing it. I can add some more color in here now. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, uh, this same container right here that I mixed it in. I'm going to turn this container upside down. And this is, it's going to be dry enough for me to move. That's why I got it on the shower curtain. Y'all see I got this on the shower curtain? So I'm going to pick the whole shower curtain up. I'm going to turn this upside down, and I'm going to drape it over. And what it's going to do is form a nice 
container, a nice vase, a nice bowl. Like my sister, she want to put on. Um, what you want to put in yours, sis? Lip gloss and stuff. Lip gloss and stuff. But we're going to try. Let me try to pull this away from yours. Are you still on plastic? Where's your plastic sheet at? Oh, girl, your plastic oh, sheet is... No. Let me get you out of there. We're going to scrape that up for you. Don't worry. It's all... It's okay. It's okay. Wait a minute. Hold still. We're just going to get you back on there. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm just trying to... It started spilling. One thing... When you're doing, when you're working with resin, one thing you got to know for sure is that your surface has to be level. At this particular time, my surface isn't level, but I'm working on getting something that's going to be leveled out. Okay, so what we're going to do, keep holding that um, side up for me. And just let it kind of pour over. You gonna when we when you hit it with some heat, it's gonna pour up anyway. You don't wanna go over that much, I don't think. I don't think you do. But we could turn it. Turn it where this part was stuck. See how it's starting to run down? Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna do it like that. And it's gonna be okay. And this part is trying to run off. So I'm going to turn it this way. Now, what I well, also the other thing I'm going to take it off of here because my table is, is it goes down. You dig what I'm saying? So um, I'm not going to let that happen. So I guess I'll pour some more on it. I wish I had a way here and did this with a cover though. Now that I'm pouring it out. But it'll be good. I don't know what I can add to it. Probably just a glitter. You poured everything out? You mad? I had to come out now. Yeah. I didn't see that happening. I didn't either. Okay. Boom. You still got a lot in there? No, it's not a lot. It's almost to the end. Let's see how this gonna go. You know me, I love gold. So. I'm like, add hey, gold to it. Wrinkling on. I like my edges to be gold. All right, so I'm done. Hey, hey, we just making some, um, these are going to be bowls when we get finished with them. So we're just making these um, busy. And um, so I'm about to turn the heat gun on. Pop the bubbles and hopefully blow them back. I guess I should have made. Whoops. That ain't cool. 
I wish I could have made some barricades, but this is just out of resin and some pigment, and it's trying to come back this way, and I don't want it to. So my clothes brush, we doing some little, just to bust some heat bubble, you know, bubbles just inside. And then we're going to sit this up on the floor. Are your cups empty? Pretty much. All right, cool. So we're trying to do a replica of this piece. My sister is for her side, but she's going to show you. I don't wonder, like, if I could have did this in, like, a picture frame or something that would hold these edges up. So I don't even have a clue how I would hold these edges up to keep it from running all over the place. Mm -hmm. You know. But the good thing about it is this this background is is um pull this soft search. This background is uh plexiglass and resin won't stick to it. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, that's cool. I want it in the middle of me. I'm just trying to make sure it stays away from yours. Maybe I they want to be friends. Oh, we can't let them mess together. We got to keep them separated. No racism. It's not on racism. The art table. You can't have racism in art? Well, I'm sure you could. Let me shut up because don't, don't get me started. <laughs> Do not get me started. I'm trying to behave myself. Okay, maybe if I just push it up in a little ball behind here. And then the plastic could only go so far if I did that. So I don't want it to spill out over here. So I'm gonna raise that up. And when I come back four hours from now, it's gonna be like a, it's gonna be like a uh, flimsy. It's gonna be sad. But it's gonna have a flimsiness to it where I can pick it up. Like um kind of sort of like a half baked pancake. I mean a half fried pancake. If when you first start it, it's you can't pick it up because it's just liquid. But as it starts to form and harden, you um you need some more thick. All right. As it starts to form and harden, you're able to take it and manipulate it. I just say. Just say I take that that pancake and I want to drape it over the spoon and make it shape like a spoon. That's not gonna stick because it's got resin on it on the back of that plexiglass. But this side, uh, and that should keep it from spilling. Hopefully, and um, and then you're able to make a pancake that's shaped like. A bowl, and that's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to lay it out flat so that it doesn't just spill everywhere until we're able to manipulate it into a shape that we want it to be in. You might just want it like that. Anyway, this is what's popping. Yeah. And all that should drain back down in there. And I'm gonna take lift this whole plexiglass off, sit it on my floor, which is flat, and let it um just cure four hours from now. I'm gonna pick this up and lay it, drape the paper 
Drake the um was this is a piece of shower curtain that I bought from um the dollar store earlier. So just just clear plastic underneath this. And then it's on top of a plexiglass. And so I'm just gonna lift this whole plexiglass up like so. I hope y'all can see it. Sit it on my floor because my floor is level, pretty level, I think. And I ain't gotta worry about nothing fooling around with it. Cover it so no dust can and dust and everything get inside. And I wish I had more. Let me see if I got any more up here. I can mix some red. Yeah, I got some more. Let me mix a little bit of red. Cause this, I wanted this mostly red, but it's, the gold is taking over. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of red paint to this. And then I'll just mix it up with my spatula. Give it a nice little mix. And I just want to put more red in this. This lady likes red, so. No sense of throwing this out. My goodness. <laughs> we done had a whole burners up in this boy. Heck you know. Okay, so I'm just mixing it up. Uh, it looks like a different red, but it is it's the same red. I guess because it mixed up with black a little bit more. And we can pour this out there. That looks cool. Scrape my bowl. So four hours from now, this is gonna be a whole different situation. Which like I said, y'all probably won't be up and around. But I just wanted to let y'all know what I was up to. And um then I'll reveal it tomorrow. When I come on. Cause this is not the quick dry. This is the uh 24 hour rest. So, we got that going. I might take a little bit of, I don't know, a little bit of black and swirl it around here. I got a little bit. Take this, sis. Got the cup. Grab your cups. We're going in the hallway, bro. to end this video thanks for watching y'all it's gonna um, I'm gonna start a new one and the next video is going I'm going to show you guys how to make your own silicone mold just like I made this one silicone mold this is the right way for you guys which I made this color shifting um, seashell out of here. Let's see how it goes. I think it goes like that. Yeah, I use it for that. 
I use it for my letter, for my logo. I also have a heart shape in here that I use. I have Kyrie shells in here. I got a bunch of stuff in this mold. You might not be able to see it. But, oh yeah, that's the right way for y'all. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to make this mold using simply some silicone. Um, silicone out of two. So, stay tuned. I'll make sure I tag you guys um, in the next video so you can watch me make some coasters. All right, thanks for watching. Be sure to go check out um, 755 Media on YouTube and subscribe and hit the like button, y'all. I'm trying to do more videos over there, so less videos on Facebook, but more videos on YouTube. So thanks for all the love and support, and I'll see y'all in the next video, probably in the next... Um, I'm going to do another video probably in the next 15 minutes on how to make this super duper cool um, mold that you can cast resin pieces out of. I've even got a cross in there out of the silicone. So join me in a little bit. Thanks for watching.